solemnly declare. I solemnly declare that I know not of any lawful impediment why I, Catherine Abike Mackenzie, may not be joined in matrimony to you, Caroline Elizabeth Dawson. Caroline Elizabeth Dawson, will you have this woman to be your wedded wife? I will. Catherine Abike Mackenzie, will you have this woman to be your wedded wife? I will. I, Caroline Elizabeth Dawson, take you, Catherine Abike Mackenzie, to be my wedded wife, to love and to cherish from this day forward. Caroline and Kate have given their consent and made their marriage vows to each other. I now pronounce you spouses for life. you at the wedding? No. You couldn't give me a lift down to a railway station, could you, in Harrogate? Uh, sure. If you give me a minute. Hello? What's he doing back so soon? You've been quick. I didn't stop. Didn't see much point, me being there without you. I'm leaving car with you. Why? Where are you going? Home. You'll know where I am if you feel like talking to me. I think I've said all I can say. Right. What's he doing at a lesbian wedding? Ah, oh, Caroline. Not you, there. I'm there right now, Harry. I'm in two places at once. Why weren't we invited? We were invited. I told her that we were too busy. Why'd you tell Caroline we were too busy? I'm not too busy. Oh, yeah, that's all I need. Yeah, that's exactly what needs to happen next. This is all your fault. What is? Why did you tell Cheryl? It just... it... I don't know, it just came out. In a few short days, I'm going to be skint. Is there some way we can talk? OK, well, I've suggested this before, then things got a bit messy because of that John twat. I've seen the light with Cheryl. I know you're... you. Why don't we get married? You can farm and I've got my salary. What are you thinking? You mean like you'd sell your house and come and live here and... Yeah. Married. I don't know. You think about it. If you give me the nod, then I can have my house up on the market within a week. What should we do? Granny? Where the hell were you, penis head? Hi, Granny. I'm... Right. What's going on? Well, John's kindly driven me over. Has something happened? Are you not at the wedding? Nope. These things just take time. You should have gone to support Caroline, at least. I said to see that I'm going. And then when I got there, she told me there was no point me being there if her mother won. No. Oh. She said that. Did she? What did you do? I'm sending her a text. Oh. F off, bitch. Oh, don't do. It's none of any of it would have happened if I hadn't. What did happen? Hello. Um, I know my mum and Kate aren't making any speeches, but uh, I'd just like to say thank you to everyone for coming. To Kate and Caroline. Kate and Caroline. Kate and Caroline. Welcome to the family. <laughs> Lawrence is over there. I noticed. Don't make a fuss. Why don't I pop round to Celia to try and persuade her to come round? No. I don't think I'm anything, really. I just feel tired. Forgive me. Forgive you for what? And, and this Gary, he's... He's a nice lad. He's done very well for himself. You all right? Celia said you were upset about this... baby business. Yeah. And Judith's... Gone. To stay with her sister. There's some soup and some bread. For dinner. If you fancy stopping. For taking a piece of grit out of your eye. For loving you. For bringing yeah. you So how did she find out, Cheryl, that you and Robbie had... He told her. And Robbie did. I 
love drinking too much at lunchtime. It's just that waking up feeling like shit thing later. <laughs> I have a thousand and one things I want to ask you. Plunge in. Did you have no idea that Caroline wanted to bat for the other county? Looking back, you do wonder. What? How much I didn't know her. My God, was I in love with her. Couldn't believe she existed. She was so, you know, Caroline. It took me 10 years to realize that actually, she's actually pretty boring. <laughs> I mean, who the shit reads chemistry, for God's sake? <laughs> I just think that people have a shelf life with each other. Those two, she's 47. Kate's 43, maybe that works. Mm. You can't say that at 24 and know what you're buying into. Not when people live to be 90. It's all right when you drop dead at 27 of plague <laughs> to the whole damn <laughs> pantomime, but come on. You know, I've got all this money. They bought out my half of the house. I think you and me could be very good for each other. You'd never have to worry where the next five quid was coming from ever again. I'm serious. I'm going upstairs. I'm just going to make a start hiding the kitchen. No, no. no I'm, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, just going to get the dishwasher on. Hello. Are you speaking to me? Have I got anything to say to you? Oh, don't be like that. What do you want? Just to say I hope it all went off all right. Everyone asked where you were. Everyone wanted to meet you. Our colleagues, my friends from Oxford. Few people wanted to pop round and say hello, but we didn't know what sort of a reception they'd get. And what did you say? You didn't want to be a part of what was going on. Well, what did they say? Nothing! What do you expect people to say when they hear something like that? Kate's mother wasn't here. Only because she's working in New York and couldn't get away. She would have liked to have been here! He's gone over to Halifax. Alan. I'm not really interested. Kate's waiting for me in bed, so... I don't know if he's coming back. I don't have an opinion on that. I do love you, you know. Your mother's car's gone. What's that? Piss off, you mad -off. That's a bit... Maybe it's a joke. I mean, maybe in Halifax that's how they say. Congratulations.